This is a great view of the Merchants' Exchange. The original burned in the fire of 1835. This lower level was built between 1836 and 1842. Now don't look up at the top level, that's later. 3,000 merchants, brokers, and auctioneers worked here. The New York Stock Exchange met in the upstairs room. The building became the Customs Service in 1862 and was the Customs House until they moved into their new building at Bowling Green. Herman Melville was a customs agent during this time. Was he? Yes. Is this the building where he worked? Uh, it fits the timeline, probably is. Oh, I've been looking all over for this building, but there are so many customs houses. You have no idea oh, how much I okay. love Herman right. Melville. Yeah, I don't think there's a single American right. writer in all of history that could see what he could see. And now to gaze upon one of the <laughs> All right, I'm glad you're excited, but you have to take it down a notch, okay? I hate doing that, but sometimes someone comes along. It, let's look back at the building. Then Citibank, which was across the street at the time, bought the building, hired McKim, Mead & White, a major New York firm, to add the top section between 1907 to 1908. Citibank was here until 1961 when they moved uptown. It was a hotel until after 9-11, and it's now Cipriani Residences and a beautiful ballroom. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a musical treat. Broadway singer and cabaret sensation, Marta Sanders. Wall Street, where a wall once stood. Wall Street, J.P. Morgan's hood. Wall Street, okay, where bulls schedule. and bears Let's will fight. The stock exchange, George Washington's game, and Congress sat all night. Wall Street, I'm telling you it's true. Wall Street, where why do you keep cutting me off? Well, we have to keep it short. They're little bites of the Big Apple. You can't keep going on and on. What am I supposed to say to that? Wait till I call my agent. I've had it with you. Right up to here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see you at the next one. Yeah. Uh, uh.